Hello everyone, I'm Mary Hassan from GFX Academy and today let's talk about the last light of Arnold's mini lights here which is the sky doom light I've prepared a very simple scene just to use this light sky doom light in order to uh, just depend on an image image based lighting in order to uh, light your scene so you will use your HR, uh, HDR HDRI image to use the details of the shadows details of the light and everything in your scene as we will see together so let's start to enter the sky dome light as you see from Arnold lights sky dome lights or from the shelf of Arnold here and using the sky dome light let's use whatever you want when you add the sky dome light as you see you are actually adding a sphere around your scene that sphere here is just giving you the uh, whole environment of the whole uh, scene you've plugged in uh, uh, a very high quality image to that sphere in order to use it, uh, Arnold use it to give your scene the light, the uh, details of your shadows, the every tiny detail in your scene. So according to your image, your scene will be high quality or low quality. So the, there are some kind of detailed image called HDRI image or header images. Uh, we will use one of them. You can uh, download many and many of these kind of images using a lot of website in the internet. One of them is the uh, HDR Labs. You'll find a very high quality uh, images. So you can use them in order to blog your scenes suitable images in your scene. And there are a lot of other websites back to Maya and let's go here I've just used a spotlight in order just to have a look at my scene I don't want it anymore and let's have a look here okay so what is the sky doom light as we said here sky doom light is that kind of light that depends on a certain image that we plug in here inside color and it, the uh, sky doom light will use it in order to light your scene so let's start to plug in here an image the image here should be a header image header high range images so when you are uh, uh, importing your image here you need to load it in the file and need it to load it inside the uh, Arnold website here or Arnold render here using the TX extension Here there yes, it's TX extension. Why we will say it in detail later on Just for speeding and high quality in Arnold and we will make a separate video for the TX images uh, Why Arnold use it and how to do it and how to convert your images that you will use in your uh, texture or images or whatever you want uh, as TX files so we will understand it later okay so let's not talk about that now okay so you here download or enter your TX image or the header image if you are using dot HDRI it will be plugged and it will be written and it will be nice but it will be a little bit slow in th inside Arnold render okay let's have a look at the options here but first I need to have a look at my preview here okay as you see I've had I'm having a look at my that's very very nice my sky dome light have a look and tell me what's in the scene so 
in order to have nice details it gives you the option of resolution and of course the option of intensity let's take it one by one the intensity here as you see uh, the intensity of your light I, I am seeing it it's very very much let's lower it a bit let's make it about 0.5 okay resolution is the resolution of your image the best you made your resolution okay the best results you will have so in my case here my image that I'm using inside Arnold is um, about seven thousand seven thousand two hundred I, I don't remember actually but it's about uh, seven hundred or seven thousand by me so when you enter here the resolution of your image you will have a very high details according to your image so you are telling Maya and Arnold that I have an image an image with that resolution so you can use it it will use every detail every tiny detail in that image to make it and to have a very nice detail especially at the shadow here if you have a look here at the shadow okay let's save this for comparison I didn't save it before and let's go back to make it about one solvent maybe it will not be noticed very much but just try to see the difference okay so here a little tiny detail at the shadow here as I see okay when we rev up the resolution it really gives me nice details this sh the the shadow here and very very tiny uh, the wings here but anyway it will give you a very high quality depending on your image okay so let's go back to about 7000 after that we have as we know before the color temperature if we want but I don't like it um, after that we have the format the format is the format of your image and it depends on your image inside uh, that you have plugged in so in my case it's suitable to uh, that long because I need it to be spherical uh, you have other options like mirror ball or like analog so you'll have these formats that you will choose in order to just fit your blocked image we have talked about intensity before and we have also the exposure for my image so if I lower my intensity to about two here okay it will take a bit, little bit time and I then go here to exposure but I need to see it first it's still rendering here I may use yes that's nice after finishing that's cool very very nice so let's take here about this and take the exposure about uh, two here it will be back to be brighter than this part it's the rendering and yes that's the result here we are back to the same uh, light as before nice and of course we have the symbols of course we have different things here um, let's make this zero back let's go this here I need to take all the, uh, the render or just okay finished nice if you want your uh, your spotlight the source 
of the sunlight here in your image is coming from this side down and that's why the, uh, there is a shadow up there here so if you want to change the direction of the your sun just go here to channel box and rotate it let's make it about 120 for example to change the direction of my light and so it will be change the shadow of the model just wait a little bit it will be finished soon yes as we see here so it began to be back if I want it to be front let's make it about negative 120 so it will be at front but actually I like that let's see at the front what it will be maybe it would be nicer cool very cool so now I have the Sun here and the shadow here so you can rotate your image not using the um, your controls here but it will be quicker to use this because it's very large numbers okay when you are rotating the uh, the sphere here up or down or any other places it will not affect my view here the most important is just uh, rotating uh, in the y-axis and if it affected it will uh, uh, have a very slight effects at your scene because the main area and the main important area here is y because it will change the place of your sun well, which direction should it be and what uh, do you want your final image will be so let's complete here and see if we have any other options and then we have here the same previous options about the shadows about the volumetrics and um, these final uh, parameters that, that we have talked about that we, about them before so um, what about the background as we see here I don't have my sphere or my sky, sky dome light at the background here suppose that I want to use these details or this image in my light or in my background if you want to do so and you need to add it as a background what to do it's very very simple just go here to your render setting to Arnold and go to environment background in the background create a sky shader here when entering a sky shader as you see it will have a white color it will affect everything you have or you add before and it will change your scene totally so we need everything back and only the background will be affected how to do this first of all just go to your color and plug in your image so I will plug here the FX file the same file that I've plugged before I think it was HDRI here okay very nice but it really affects my render here it affects my model it affects everything and of course the shadow I just need the background so what to do just go back to your sky doom or a sky shader here and go down and ask for the render statues here and choose what to affect I don't want it to affect here if we just see oh my god it's too bad see it's really too bad so just uh, see the difference here it's totally different okay so I don't want it to affect it in my glossy or my diffuse or my shadows I don't need any shadows I just need it to give me that back 
backgrounds at nice backgrounds so let's go and render it here oh my god it's ni really nice so see here the difference between my new render and my previous render now i have my previous um render with the sky dome light and also the shader of the background but let's make it a little bit um yes sky dome light and let's make it a little bit bigger um more intensity so let's delete this and let's delete that one too here now rendering yes cool so all you need to do is just rotate your image here your bag image um, according to the lights here as you like so that's very simple here is uh, the sky dome light how to deal with it and why to do that that after you finish adding your uh, header here, you can use the other lights in order to enlarge your scene using the different kinds of armor light here. You can use area lights, mesh lights, photometric lights, or any other lights to add tiny details in your scene because uh it really needs some lights because here i am just having a one um model and a very close shot and just to clarify the effect of my light here but in certain cases you will not be like that it will be such back 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 here like this for example and you have a lot of details and you need to add a lot of detail in your scene and every detail need an image or a need a light to clarify it more so you can use different lights but start with the sky dome light to have accurate uh, calculations and then start to adding other lights to your scene according to your needs by this we have finished the, the main lights of Arnold uh, and I'd like to finish uh, this part before we go to the next part of Arnold series here with the uh, sky shader and another shader but it's not inside uh, this menu and we will talk about that later how to do lighting in your image without using these all of these lights so you can use all of these lights and we know all of them in details but we will understand another kind of light inside Arnold you can add it you can use it to light your scene naturally without all of this how to do this and how to use it we'll know all of these next time travel. i hope you like it and meet you next time goodbye <laughs>